Hi, I'm Jyoti Chabria. There are several myths that people have. In fact, uh, it's a belief that eating papaya is not okay in pregnancy because it tends to cause abortions. However, this is only a myth because papaya in fact is very rich in beta carotene and fiber and uh, it's one of the best nutrients for digestion, it helps in digestion. Uh, another thing that people keep asking me is that uh, does saffron or help in having a fair child? Well, this is just a myth, it has no basis to it at all. And milk, they believe that white things cause uh, result in fair babies. This again is another myth which is not true. What is the whole idea about having a good diet? Uh, the diet, the law of nature is that the baby is never compromised. That's the reason you see people even who are in the lower income group, uh, when they have their babies, their babies are pretty healthy. But it is the mother that is compromised in early, uh, much earlier in life. That's why you see uh, mothers of laborers and you know those kind of people, they end up into fluorosis and osteoporosis much earlier in life than uh, one who takes a proper diet. Uh, I do remember a patient who, I was doing my rounds in one of the hospitals and uh, she looked really sad and she said, uh, like she was starving, she had a caesarean section and as we all know, post 24 hours the patient is always nil by mouth and then we slowly start on liquids and then semi-solids and then solids but it was the third day of her delivery and apparently she had not been given anything to eat because they believe that uh, if you start eating, you tend to have gas and things like that. So I simply took it up like this and I told the patient. Uh, I asked the, uh, the elderly lady with her, I said, is she able to lactate? And she said, no madam, she's not able to lactate. So I said, what's she eaten? So she said, we've given her only uh, gruel. Gruel is rice water. So I said, why? She says, because we believe that if you give them dals, there'll be pus formation and things like that. And I said, look, if you're going to do this, she's not going to be able to lactate at all because uh, she's not eating enough. So immediately I gave them a diet chart which is ideal for lactation and uh, the next day when I went on my rounds, I saw this girl really happy and I knew I think I'd done the trick because her mother-in-law had allowed her to eat everything that she needed to eat. So there are lots of beliefs that people have, like people believe that if you eat turdal post delivery, you have pus formation, the stitches don't heal, which is really not correct. Some people believe that don't give them anything for 4-5 days till you know they settle down uh, all their organs settle down but again that's not correct now in India people believe you give a lot of ghee which is fat basically but uh, in today's time we don't follow those concepts anymore really speaking uh, anything given in moderation is fine but anything given in excess is not okay the ideal diet in pregnancy actually is a lot of iron, calcium and minerals